Our society is very, very dependent on burning fossil fuels, but it has wide-reaching and long-lasting consequences. We burn fossil fuels to do lots and lots of different things. We burn fossil fuels to make electricity. Petrol and diesel are fossil fuels. Um, obviously we have those in our cars, our buses, our trains, our transport systems. And heating. So gas central heating or oil central heating, all of these are based on fossil fuels. You may not think about it too much, but life would be very, very different if we didn't burn fossil fuels. Are there alternatives and what is the consequence of burning all of these fossil fuels? So here is a graph showing time in years and carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. And you can see that it is going up. There is a yearly variation, and this is to do with the seasons and the amount of plants around. Because if you remember, plants take in carbon dioxide. But there is a very, very clear trend that over time, the levels of carbon dioxide are increasing. And as carbon dioxide levels have been increasing, so has the global temperature. Now the reason all this carbon dioxide comes from burning fossil fuels is that when we go back to the carbon cycle, this carbon has been locked up inside oil, inside coal for millions of years. We take it, we burn it in a combustion reaction, and carbon dioxide and water is released. The carbon dioxide goes off into the atmosphere and the levels in the atmosphere increase. Now our planet is undergoing a time of incredibly fast population growth. The more people there are on the planet, the more homes we need, the more schools we need, the more workplaces we need, the more places that we need to heat, the more places we need to use electricity to light. So we need more electricity to cope with the increased demand from the growing population, which means we need to burn more fossil fuels. This is one reason for the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The other reason is deforestation. Now, plants take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere because of photosynthesis, but if we're cutting down all of the trees, if we're cutting down the forest, there are less trees there to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, which is going to lead to an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. If you think back to the early atmosphere, you'll know that carbon dioxide can be dissolved in the oceans. And as we increase the carbon dioxide at a concentration in the atmosphere, we're going to increase the carbon dioxide in the oceans. The problem with this is that it is making the oceans very, very acidic. And the fish, the plants, the coral reefs that live in the oceans can't cope with these acidic conditions. So unfortunately, we are seeing large, large amounts of coral reefs dying, lots of fish dying, lots and lots of changing conditions because of the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is causing the oceans to become more acidic. There were lots and lots of different problems associated with the increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, not just the ones we hear about every day. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you'll get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date, you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order, you can visit my website, primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections, down below, please.